Yo, this card, this is going to be the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta concept for Dragon Ball Legends. I'm making this because Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is a highly requested character to come into Dragon Ball Legends since he's so cocky, he's so strong, his design is so cool. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is awesome. I really want him in Dragon Ball Legends. Hopefully we get him sometime soon. But yes, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is so badass. That's why I'm making this concept because this is how I feel Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta should play when he comes in Dragon Ball Legends. And he's going to be a Legends Limited character. And what makes Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta great is that he's GT. So he'll be a buff for Fusion Warriors and GT. Before I start this, I just want to mention that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta didn't really fight Omega Shinron too much. He was more counter him but anyway so i might just use some clips from super gogeta when he fought janemba as a reference for strike or a few things but yeah hopefully we get him in dragon ball legend soon anyway let's get started so super saiyan 4 gogeta will be green he's going to be a defense type don't get upset about that i know that sounds kind of lame but hear me out Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is the king of defense. Have you not seen Dragon Ball GT? Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta was tanking all of Omega's attacks. So of course he's going to be a defense type. This man is the king of defense. He's going to be Saiyan, GT, Super Saiyan 4, Fusion, and Fusion Warrior. And he's going to have Blast Armor as well. And he's going to be from the Shadow Dragon Saga. Cards held will be Strike and Key Blast. Alright, so before we get onto the animations, I just want to mention the more Gogeta gets attacked, the higher his defense will become. When Gogeta strikes or blasts your opponent, their defense will be reduced the more they're hit by those cards. When I make Gogeta a defense type, he's still going to be a strong attacker. It's just more about him getting a huge amount of defense while fighting, and he can also lower your opponent's defense. And that's where his damage mainly comes from. And at 2 stars, he's going to tag Fusion Warrior. And 3 stars, he's going to tag GT. When he tags into them, he'll be giving them more defense. And Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta will have a cover change like this. He'll be able to cover change anything except the Rising Rush. Alright, so this is going to be Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Strike. And yes, I am using some Super Gogeta references. Because like I said, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta did not attack much. This is going to be the Key Blast. Um, Gogeta didn't really use Key Blast, so I'm just going to be using this as the Key Blast animation, just the generic Gogeta Key Blast. Special skill is going to be Bluff Kamehameha, and this will inflict the opponent with Flash. So your opponent will be stunned for some time. This will make the opponent lose Key as well. So once you use Bluff Kamehameha, their key will get lowered and they're not able to move for some time. This is great for tagging into other fusion warriors like Vegito Blue and keep attacking them. Or if you're fighting a purple type, you can quickly flash them with Bluff Kamehameha and then switch into a yellow character. Special move will be Big Bang Kamehameha, which does critical damage and reduces the opponent's attack and defense and it will restore 20 key upon activation, just like Super Vegito's Big Bang attack when he uses it in Dragon Ball Legends. He restores 20 key. So you just need 50 to activate it, but then you'll get 20 key back. So it's just like you only used 30. Now in the main ability, which will be called I'll send you to the next world with this, he will draw an ultimate skill, which is times 100 Big Bang Kamehameha. Now ultimate skill damage will go up, your opponent cannot switch characters, and your opponent's vanishing gauge will turn to zero. So your opponent has to take it. Now, if the times 100 Big Bang Kamehameha doesn't kill your opponent, it'll just look pretty standard. But if it does kill your opponent, it will be extended and you'll see your opponent eviscerate into it while screaming just like a Mega Shinron. And they're just gone. And of course, it'll say Legendary Finish as soon as they eviscerate. And then it'll look at Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and then they'll defuse into Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Now one more effect about Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is that if he dies, he will restore 20% of his health. Because this man will never go down. This is how I feel Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta should stand while fighting. I mean, he is the cockiest fusion and just doing this is disrespecting your opponent so much. He does not care. He's that cocky. And this is going to be his standard victory pose. Alright, that was my Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta concept for Dragon Ball Legends. Let me know what you think about it or what you would change or what you would do. But this is my take on it. Um, but yeah, just it's just I hope we get him anytime soon because he will be great for Fusion Warriors and GT. And especially GT. Oh my god. <laughs> That'd be great. But yeah, I know everyone's kind of hating on Fusion Warriors now. But hey, I thought I'd make the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta concept anyway. Let me know if you enjoyed it and what other characters you'd like to see. I will see you all later. Bye! Bye.